Whoa, you're big, mister. What's your name? Businessman of legend. Get the scoop. Guahaha, I am Bowser. Bowser, evil king extraordinaire. Yeah. Yeek. Where'd he run to? Where'd he run to? I, I really wonder what the other ones will say now. I can't test it out. It's locked, it won't budge. Darn it! The lock broke. Oh baby, awesome, it opened. Talk about lucky, I guess. Raid really pays. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is finally it. Wahaha, ha, ha. alas, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star-getting guy. You there! I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... Remorseless king of evil, the shadow thief. The shadow thief. About it, the shadow thief. Not a thief, the best thief. I'll be taking this, thanks. What? The shadow thief? I knew it had the. I knew this had the scent of no mere burglar. Burglarly? Ha, ah, you've been. Horn, hornswoggled? <laughs> shadow thief. For that, a, re, a red herring. A fake. What? A fake? But look at this fancy display, the pedestal and everything. It's so po posh. If it's fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Ho, ho, ho. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? All right, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. How bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser. Did they break another one? <laughs> ah, Paragumbo. What are you so worked up over? <laughs> Tell me. I like how he just doesn't care that... Actually, no, he could be standing up. It kind of looks like he's on his head, though. No reporting, sir. Uh, and a ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand year door. I think it's supposed to be on his head. Wh what? The thousand year door? When the heck it, when the heck is that? The thousand year door. An unbelievably legend treasure is behind that door. Yarg! Then I'm going there too. Immediately! And I'm gonna ruin Mario. Will you now? Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Way to not fail, yet. Oh, how delusional. <laughs> how, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I can't think of the word. <laughs> Oblivious. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Corking. Now we can go open the thousand year door. Ah, uh, yes, but... We still don't know where Princess Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogue Park, right? Eh, hey, old, old boy? Perhaps Professor Franklin can help us find out, find our dear Princess Peach, hmm? Uh, Delta, I, I try to keep him out most of the time just for his dialogue.
Oh no. Oh no, what's going on? Something's wrong. Where the heck are we? Gotta do tech support. You are Mario, are you not? It's, it, it is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I am sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please. Please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. But backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. The princess is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry, there is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to teleporter for you. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. <laughs> like Mario's like, facial reaction. <laughs> because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer, just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach, I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. We got it, Tech. So hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. Tech system failure reported. Godzilla, is that? Hair is a man. We just gotta save Peach for Tech now. Tech too. It's kind of creepy when it's all red in here. One of these things, right? Said it was on sub level two. I don't think this is it. This is the train room. Peach, 
Goodbye. Yep, it fucking exploded. At least I think I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to mean. Whoa, you hear something just then? It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently it doesn't work. Yeah, it just suddenly stopped working. Well, if it isn't Mario... Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talk, talk into my good ear. The Xnot Fortress is on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Sure was, but the Xnot boss took her and took off for the thousand year door. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with, with Princess Peach. What? You said that door doesn't e even open with the open without the seventh crystal star. Believe me, I know, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eye. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't daddle. You must come immediately. Yeah, let me just go use my coin here. Actually, I could have bought one more, one more of those. A few more of those. Go ahead and sell some stuff. Keep what, what else we have. RDM, final issue seven. Road report today. In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that Zesty, age of 55, Delivered a left hook to the jaw of Gadabout Flavio, age 25, late this very afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, thus T has already been approached by Glitzbit talent scout Don Gumbetti. I think this kid's got spunk. <laughs> I think this kid's got spunk. I I don't know about you, but some I won't say someone that's 55 years old is a kid. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Although they would probably take it as a compliment. <laughs> We'll take the world by storm, said Gumbadi. Uh, shop before to go. This week we have an explosive, exclusive look on on the shopping far up of North, North Winds Mart. It's so cold there that all the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us fascinating variety of goods. As the sweet-faced little miss explained, it's cold out.
but I do best to explode inside shop to warm the place up da. So come in so come on in. This place is big too folks. This place is big too folks, so we haven't seen all of it. So we haven't seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourselves. Cooking for rookies, this is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies. Just to make sure we leave you with a smile on your face, our last recipe will be for couples cake. Just similar, simmer spicy soup for a few minutes, then drop in a snow bunny and presto. Before your very eyes, the mixture will congeal and make the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. Editor's note, this is it, dear readers. Final issue. We here at the R&D office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and futures. May we meet again perhaps sooner than you think. Wink, wink. Oh. This is a little, a little sad. What are we up? It's almost three hours and 42 minutes. Depending if there's any help, help me stuff to do or not. I wouldn't be surprised if there, not, if there isn't, just because uh, we're pretty much at end game here. Okay, what am I doing in here? <laughs> Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the end, of <laughs> the end will draw near. Do it. Gravity corner. What's going on tonight? And then that is the man in the moon freaking out or what? The starstruck astronomer. Oh, um, I wanted to go in here. That's because. Super Luigi Book 4, the fan favorite. Oh, so we need to find wherever Luigi is. I'm assuming he has another story. Okay, we do got a, full, a few new ones. Uh, delivery, please. I need you to take something to General White. Please come get it with all speed. Me being posture height. I said, let's, why not uh, go past? Go to the room with the tabs in your door. What's going on there? What kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think that they're in the vicinity anymore. We must have found another way to get through the door. Did they ever explain that? It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold the loft, the last crystal star. I kind of hope this doesn't like start the next chapter. Or that like I can I don't have to go in there and do the shit. Whoa, look at, look, the door.
At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, we must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's rock, Gonzalez. Yeah, we're not going in there yet. <laughs> you guys gotta wait. 